Let's assemble the front axle. You may use the front view in figure A on page 6 as reference. Start by assembling all radius rods. It is important to put anti-seize on the threads of all rod ends before assembling radius rods. This will ensure that the rod ends will be easy to uninstall in the event that rods need to be replaced or adjusted. If you do not use anti-seize, the rod ends will lock into place over time due to corrosion and rods will be very difficult to adjust. Use your kingpin set to affix your spindles to the axle. Slide kingpin downward through the top of the spindle and into the kingpin boss on the axle. Add a bronze kingpin washer from the kingpin set between the bottom of the kingpin boss and the bottom of the spindle before pushing the kingpin all the way through. Make sure the flat on the kingpin faces the set screw holes and once installed insert set screws and tighten them securely. Next you'll want to attach your steering arms to the spindles using the coarse threaded 3 8 inch bolts in your front axle hardware kit. Once steering arms are attached, install tie rod and drag link. Utilize 3 8 inch hardware and spacers in front axle hardware kit to affix rods to steering arms. It is important to get the correct spacers between each rod end and steering arm to prevent any binding. Start by finding a quarter inch spacer and attach one end of your tie rod to the right front steering arm, spacing it down a quarter inch from the bottom of the arm and fasten securely. Affix the drag link to the left front steering arm, spacing it a half inch above the arm. Then attach the other end of your tie rod spacing it a half inch below the arm and fasten securely. It is necessary to space your tie as suggested due to the caster split built into the axle. Attach pan hard rod to welded stud on the front of the axle using a 3 8 inch nylock nut found in your front axle hardware kit. Finally, mount front hubs. Drop your tapered bearings into each hub with a sealed bearing to the inside. Once bearings are in each hub, slide the hubs onto each spindle and secure them with your spindle pinch nuts.